Oh, hello everybody, really welcome back to Fugit Blitz with me, Fugit. Hello. Uh, the object 907 has hit the store. <laughs> and already the videos are going out and there's lots of things, but this is going to be different. I'm not going to go and rehash what every other YouTuber has said. I'm just going to give you the main points. So, how do you get your hands on this tank? Well, first and foremost, it's in a crate. Yeah! That's gonna cost you real life money, hard cash, not gold. So, hmm. But is this a tank that you should be dropping your cash on? And what's the drop chance? Well, that is around 5%. But like most of these tanks, you will get charms. So you can get up to 25 charms to get the tank. But that by no means makes this tank cheap. Now this is my garage and it's in UAE dirhams and the conversion rate is 3.67 per dollar. That means to guarantee this tank for 25 charms, you're gonna have to drop close to $230. Are you serious? I don't care how badly you want this tank. $230 is a ridiculous amount of money for a pixelated tank. And what are you getting for that $230? Well, are you getting a tier 10 Russian medium? Uh, okay, that's cool. It, we've got a Russian medium at T10. But at what cost? I mean, this is insane, if I'm being honest. I mean, look, they've, they've, they've done this before, Wargaming, where we've had, to guarantee the tank, it's gonna cost you close to $100. But $230? Really? And it's not like the tank is broken or OP or something spectacular. Okay, it's the first of its kind. A tier 10 Russian medium. Not! Because you've got T62A and the Object 140. I mean, what on earth is going on here? And even the T22 was never this costly. And that's also a Russian medium at tier 10. So what is going through then? minds when they're putting it in this. I mean, is it that great? Well, let's have a bit of a look. Does it have any armor? Well, yeah, of course. Does it have a gun that can dish out damage? Yes, of course. Does it have an engine that gets you from A to B? Yes, of course. But is it giving you anything better than is currently out there with the T62A, the Object 140, the T22? Well, clearly not. Because look at this, the DPM on all those other tanks is better. The penetration is in the case of the T62A, better. The rate of fire and the reload is better. The shell velocity is better. And the aim time is, in the case of the T62A again, better. So $230 for a tank that's not as good as two Tech 3 tanks and the other collector. Mmm. Makes you wanna, mmm. So what does this tank have that you can't get already? What is it that makes this tank so expensive? Well, nothing other than the fact it's a new tank. And that's it, guys. You can have a T62A or an Object 140. Tanks that are also mediums, they're also Russian, but they're free, they're in the tech tree. Just grind them. You get the T22, okay, it's also a Russian medium. And okay, it's a collector. But I'm telling you, this tank is not bringing anything new to the game. Not really. It's just a new tank. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice tank, but if you got, if you like the T62A and the other Russian mediums, then this is always going to be a nice tank. Okay, it's faster than those tanks, but does speed mean everything? Well, I don't know, that's up to you. Personally, uh, this is bringing nothing to justify the hefty price tag in my opinion but that's just my opinion and i'm not here to tell you how you suspend your cash by the way before anybody says anything this is me on my press account because i have not dropped the cash to get this tank i'm more than happy to wait to be honest with you anyway that's my quickie on the object 907 and that really is all you need to know it's bloody expensive and it's nothing more than what you've currently got in the game by all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, remember, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because that's what it's all about. 
having fun and being happy. $230 doesn't make me happy.